What's up, Hobby Maniacs? MBG here today with your weekend rumor roundup. It's uh, It was kind of a crazy one. Uh, we had the Horace Heresy Weekender over in England where there was a ton of stuff unveiled coming up, new releases for Forge World, all sorts of stuff. Then we had the Harlequin release, um, some leaks for the new, uh, new vehicle for them. We also had the White Dwarf that came out, so we did a review of that, uh, as well as the troop models themselves. Then we had a ton of stuff get spoiled for End Times Archeon, new models, um, a big, big bloodthirster that we heard was coming. Now, this thing is huge, and we'll, we'll get to that here in a minute. So, uh, let's circle back around to the Weekender. First off, if you haven't seen it yet, the Siphon, Xiphon, I don't know how to say it yet, but we'll, we'll find out shortly. If you went to the, uh, the Heresy Weekend, or make sure you uh, you drop it here how to say it, because I'm sure they said it at least once there, right? Um, it's a crazy looking Space Marine Flyer, which to borrow a page from Archer, if <laughs> if, uh, if a Battlestar, Goth uh, Battlestar Galactica uh, Viper model had a baby with an X-Wing fighter, this would be that, because it is just, it's got all sorts of different elements of styling from both of those vehicles, and it's, it's pretty dope looking, to be honest. And, I, I want one. I, I don't know how much they're going to be, but I'll probably pick one up because I'm stupid. And I like to buy dumb things, but uh, I'm sure you enjoy the reviews I do of it. So, hey, it's a win-win, right? <laughs> uh, then we had uh, a whole bunch of Solar Auxilera stuff unveiled and, and previewed. There's a new uh, Doridio. I think that's how you say it. I don't know yet. I haven't been able to look it up online to see the pronunciation. That's that crazy-looking walker thing that has uh, that has some missile launchers on the back and... Uh, uh, weapon arms. This looks like to be some sort of plasma weapons. We're not exactly sure. We haven't seen the stats on it yet. Um, there was a leak for what you can equip it with, but you know that being said, we haven't seen all the weapons uh, stats too. Also, we saw a new Primark. Not a lot of people thought it'd be Dorn. A lot of people thought it'd be Perturbo, but it turns out it's going to be Gillamane. <laughs> um, they're pretty cool because it's a lead-in for uh, Horus Heresy Book Five, Tempest, which uh, supposedly is going to be detailing the battle or battles of the Ultramar system and Calth and all of that stuff that happened. A whole bunch of novels we've already seen on that, I think like Into the Abyss and I want to say, uh, what was the one with Grammaticus in it? Um, no, No Fear. So I think that was it. I don't know. They're all, there's like 40 heresy books by now. I can't keep them all straight anymore. <sighs> I digress. So Tempest, uh, book five, supposedly coming out in spring. Hopefully we'll see it at Adepticon. Um, they had book three, Exterminatus, last year, which was a really, really sweet score. I was able to get it and do a review really quick that weekend, actually, from my hotel room on my bed, as a matter of fact. So I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, <laughs> so hopefully we can do a repeat of that. I would, I would love to get it and show that thing off because it was, uh, it was pretty massive. Next up, we have the new White Dwarf, if you haven't seen it yet. Um, we got the new Skyweaver Jet Bikes, which... We did a little comparison uh, article and pictures on these guys last week where it kind of showed how these are the quote unquote missing to Elder Jet Bike design from uh, I think it was 2007 that Jess Goodwin did. And a lot of these same des design elements, I don't know if you can see it here, but you've got the ribbing underneath the, the front armor plating, you've got these little, these little notches here in the uh, thrust veins, and then you've got the cannon, which has got these little thrusters on the front that wasn't quite the same as back then. but. That being said, it's very, very, very similar. There's nothing, you know, there's nothing to, to prevent them from scanning this into the 3D design programs they have and then just popping this thing right out, right? And just adding a couple things to it and, and taking a couple things away. Also, it had the new rules for the Star Weaver, which comes out next week. I think they're retailing for $40. And it seems not too bad for what you get. I mean, it is a jet bike, but it's kind of like a two-person jet bike, so it's kind of like... I guess if you wanted to price it out, like uh, two attack bikes, which I think ended up being like 50 bucks. So there they are, the new uh, rules for this thing right here. We did a big review of it. Definitely check that out on the blog. Now, it's it, it's, a, it's, it's a very interesting vehicle, right? So it's 100 points, or 50 points each. It's got two wounds, because it's similar to an attack bike profile. Weapon skill five, three attacks, so four attacks on the charge. It's got a four up save, but it can do the jink thing and activate its mirage, uh, mirage launchers, I think it's called, where that save becomes an invulnerable, but only if the bike, the bike type of the whole squad is Eldar Jet Bike. So I think 
you can't join normal um, Eldar special characters into there and then try to do the Mirage uh, thing. I'm not exactly sure yet. We haven't seen it, but it was a, there was a very interesting thing where it puts in and it says, hey, these guys become this type, but this only works if they're all equipped with it. So that's going to... We'll kind of see how the codex comes out and what special characters we get. But that being said, it comes stock with the Shuriken Cannon, which is six, three shots at string six, which is really good. And you still need to be able to take one of those for every three regular jet bikes you took. So that's definitely an upgrade. I mean, that thing is baller. And when they're hitting on twos, I mean, it's what was, you know, it's it's really good. So uh, we've got that. You can also take the Haywire Cannon, which is straight out of the Dark Eldar book, which is strength four Haywire. It's kind of okay, you know, the majority of it. So you're going to get a pen or a glance, and that's kind of big in this format. So I'm kind of, you know, I'll kind of go with it. The Star Bolas, pretty interesting thing. Strength 6, AP2, blast, small blast. Once per game. So kind of interesting. Range 12, it's going to be a little dicey to get up in there with them. So you definitely want to play that, play that one close to the vest. If not, you can take the Zephyr Glaive. And then those become, I think it's like strength five on the charge because of their furious charge. Their EP two on the charge. They works. They work similar to the Star Lance. So it's very interesting um, how they have these mechanics in here. Four attacks on the charge is strength five, AP two. Pretty good. You're probably going to kill whatever you come up against. But still, uh, they're base strength three. So you got to be very careful. That they do not get assaulted because they will probably die. Because Eldar does not do good with strength three. Um, also, if you haven't heard yet, there was a big spoiler on the new Bloodthirster. Pictures all over the place. Um, by now, I'm sure we've seen way more pictures already. But pretty, pretty awesome looking thing. I mean, it's tall. It's Nagash tall. And it's got a bunch of different variants. Supposedly, we're hearing three different solid variants with different weapons, like a two-handed halberd, um, kind of a glaive thing, and then the big, you know, the big axe we've all come to uh, know and love, just a generic Bloodthirster kind of thing. Also, it supposedly is, you know, Archeon himself. Uh, supposedly we're getting a book five. Supposedly it's coming out at the end of February, early March. We're not exactly sure yet. But uh, s stuff spoiling this early really indicates that the Harlequins might only be a three-week release and that February 28th slot, I believe it is, um, the last day of the month, will actually see Archeon because you've got the Codex supposedly coming out the 21st. It goes on pre-sale on Valentine's Day. So that would kind of make sense, like, we're, we're not going to see a whole lot of things, but it's hard to say because we haven't seen the White Dwarf uh, rumors yet. So, there might be more Eldar, it might be coming out with conjunction of the Codex on the 21st, and then we might get End Times on the 28th. So that's what it's kind of shaping up to be right now. Also, in conjunction with the End Times, is two new models, along with the Bloodthirster, the Skull Reapers of Korn, which are in that picture that's spoiled all over the place by now. If not, I'm sure I popped it up on the... Uh, empty space right over here and the wraith mongers now the wraith mongers are uh, very interesting looking they kind of look like little mini humanoid lord of skulls as they as it was uh, described and of course we kind of saw those in the picture and then uh, the skull reapers kind of look like the kador doom reapers with like uh, kind of like halberds i guess like two-handed halberds kind of like gladiatorial kind of armor kind of thing so we also saw those in the picture so um we haven't seen the actual product models yet but we have seen that kind of like zoomed out kind of battle pose kind of thing. So very interesting stuff. Lots of new stuff on the way um, as far as end times and Harlequins and tons of stuff from Forge. I mean, it's just bananas, all the stuff coming out there. So around the studio here, been pretty busy this weekend. I got a couple of uh, Titans done off. The first one is a Knight. Oh, what is this guy? This is the Castigator. Pretty, uh, pretty fun little model here. I had a lot of fun with him. The head actually moves and it's all magnetized. Pew, 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 pew. Got the gallery right here. And uh, kind of painted up in a Stormlord's uh, pattern here. The Legio, uh, what is that? Astermans or something? I don't know. But um, definitely enjoyed it. Did some freehand on the banner there. And then I also have a Acheron right here. Very, uh, very cool model. Kind of... Uh, little pose here where he's kind of uh, getting ready to ignite something. He's standing on a uh, little piece of wreckage there. You get a no prize if you can figure out what that is that he's actually standing on. It's another forge roll kit. So he's pretty, he's pretty fun. I, I really enjoyed these guys doing all the uh, the weathering and all the, the striping and stuff like that. 
Now, if you haven't heard yet, I'm actually taking commissions. I don't have time to paint whole armies because I do all this stuff we got going on here. But if there's, you know, uh, a few different models or some of the bigger stuff, some big like centerpieces that you're interested in having done, uh, definitely send me an email support at Spikey Bits, and I can, uh, you know, I can uh, get you up a quote, kind of let you know what I'm what I'm kind of thinking. My queue is kind of filling up fast because I do a lot of stuff with next level painting. Uh, speaking of next level painting, if you haven't heard yet. We are launching a new YouTube channel together and we need your subscribe. So please head on over to The Long War. Yes, we like chaos. And uh, please, please subscribe there because we need a certain amount of subscribes in order to unlock something special that we're trying to do. Uh, we're trying to bring a lot of exclusive content, a lot of tutorials, and some very special bat reps. We filmed a lot of stuff in HD and we're trying to do something very special. So please go over there and subscribe. We need your subscribes. We need to get a certain number here in the next couple weeks in order to do what we want to do. So uh, that being said, uh, drop, drop me an email if you're looking to get something uh, painted up. Uh, go like that new YouTube channel, The Long War. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching my video. Make sure you stay in the trenches. Subscribe to this YouTube channel here too if you haven't already. Uh, check out the blogs by keepitsblog.com and listen to our podcast, forgenarrative.com. Spiking bits.